and Rugby Europe Super Cup continues live today from Velo Doid, Spain. Hello, everybody, alongside Adam Ash. I am Tom Eschen as the Castilla y Leon Iberians host the Brussels Devils in the final match of opening round play here in the Rugby Europe Super Cup. Brussels Devils trying to finish this competition off on a high note for sure. A beautiful day here in Valladolid, Spain. Eight degrees Celsius, that's 45 Fahrenheit. Getting closer to 12 p.m. local time. As you saw, so are the Iberians, and so are we. Kicking off a triple header Saturday of the Rugby Europe Super Cup. Just about noon local time in Valladolid. And away we go. Hey, here comes the scrum for the Baryons, close to that five meter line, closer to the try line as well. And Rocarias is in for a try, and what a start for the Iberians. Five nothing. Excellent start for the Iberians there. I think looking, they're showing uh, how much rugby they want to play here. Um, uh, a lot of passes already in this first couple of minutes of the game. Now to try to work it out wide. Against that Devils defense and in. John Bell. 10-0 in Berriand. It's a lovely handle in there to move that ball out wide. Um, really slick and uh, yeah, putting Bell away in the corner. Nicely taken try. So that's, uh, they, they, they'll have wanted to capitalize there. They Tackle by Hendricks been all over here the last few minutes. Yeah, that was a lovely kick through from Hendricks there. Good chase to put some pressure. And they've, they've come out with a really good result here. Penalty, massive gain, 30 or 40 meters up the field here. Pretty good look here, right down the middle. And that's exactly where it goes. So three points on the board. Teams that can, can hang on in there till, till the end of the game, even though they might not be playing a massive amount of rugby, can often come away with a, a positive result and a win, as we've yeah, seen the with... Devil uh, sat yeah, oh, just, just a second, just a second, just a second. Yeah, yeah the, Adam, the devil's satisfied with their first... I mean, that alludes exactly to what you said, kicking it into touch. Into the, yeah. to the intensity that they've been playing with, and... As they've spoken about, they, they wanted to come out here in this this game and, and play with passion and show what they're all about. And they certainly did that in aspects of the game. Here's the opening kick of the second half, fielded there by the Iberians. From the side, number seven. And now breaking through once again as Jorge has had some nice runs. They get it out to that left side. They continue to creep closer. Still playing that advantage and in. Kalu Kalu Gavidi, the Baryons again striking quickly. This time in the second half, it's 15 to three. Well, done. they've wanted to get points on the board early here, and I'm sure the um, the coach had some some harsh words with them at halftime in terms of just keeping hold of the ball and I'm sure he was frustrated with the amount of turnovers that they can see Stay another run into Devils territory the Iberians getting it out in the open once again looking for another try within moments they get it 22 to 3 Looks like the floodgates have opened Ross here. Cone this time. That's a, a fantastic try. Some some really opportunistic play there um, to, to play down the short side off that kickoff. They, they let some opportunities lie in wait here in the second half. Getting on the Devils early. Another strong run here for the Iberians. That one shifted forward into the hands of Bell. And Bell is through for yet another try. Three and four minutes for the Iberians of Spain. They are pouring it on. Well, actually, the referees awarded the try there, but I actually think that we'll, uh, we'll give the try. But really exciting start to the second half here. 
I'd be really looking to move that ball around it, and there seems to be a few gaps opening up. And Score after 30 minutes. You can say it was a similar feel today after 40. And now the Iberian, like we say, has opened things up. Facundo Manila. One final offload and in. The Iberians do it again and again and again. This time it's Luca Santa Cruz. That was a nice work try. Just again, very opportunistic, and you can see the devils there. Just a few mistakes creeping into their game. They seem to be quite tired here in the second half. And Deep throw up and over. No, Rick. Stay here. Stop. Devils get it back, but fumble it forward and reaching for the line. And in once again are the Iberians. Martinez this time. Again, just struggling at the line out there, the Iberians. It seems to have been a real sticky point for them today. They're made of in the second half. Yes. Kick is up and good. 41 to 3. Been perfect. You know, at times the scrum, at times the line out hasn't been functioning well, but I think what's been really positive to see is their, their general attacking play. Um, they've been really starting to work that system, and there's been a lot of opportunities that have come off it. Backwards. And they use those, and that one just so close, and finally, Tafuga gets in. His first try of the Rugby Europe Super Cup comes here in round six. I'm sure that'll be one of the easier tries that Kirk Tafuga has scored in his rugby career. Um, they really just had to run that in, but you know, there's, there's a nice build up of play there and, and some good decisions being made there. Like, lovely little uh, offload post contact there, just sucking in two players and the real marker for, for a really dominant performance. Something the Avarians haven't done yet this year. They scored 47. You'll be one to, to get over for one last try. As a player, I've always felt extremely satisfied when I've got to that 50 point mark. Um, you know, it's definitely a statement to be made, and there we go. Over the goal for the, the, the last try, I'm sure, of this game, and the 50-pointer. They certainly make that statement, Facundo Manila, here in the 80th minute. Really from start to finish, the Iberians doing the job.